Dwight Stevens was elected mayor of Aberdeen about six months ago, but long before he entered politics, he built a business selling and buying antiques. Yeah, Stevens will be featured as one of the appraisers this evening on an episode of Mississippi Public Broadcasting's Mississippi Antique Showcase. Ali Martin has more from Aberdeen. Aberdeen Mayor Dwight Stevens is taking a few moments from his work at City Hall to make sure everything is set for an auction this weekend. Stevens began his career as an antique dealer and auctioneer 40 years ago and was recently invited to be one of the appraisers on MPB's Mississippi Antique Showcase during an episode in Natchez. And as you might expect in Natchez with all the treasures there for a long time, we had some big, uh, big ticket things show up and uh, so uh, really priceless treasure type things. What do we have today? Stephen says many of the items brought on the show were from the historic town, one of the oldest European settlements in the lower Mississippi River Valley. Through the years, Stevens has held auctions featuring furniture, art, and antiques from several prominent Natchez estates. We've done others. We did the Briars. We did an auction there. Uh, so We've, we've been in Natchez and, and I always look forward to going to Natchez. It's just a fun place. If anyone hasn't been there, they, they should go. They should put it on their list. Stephen says there are two main factors that determine the value of an antique, age and condition. The way people keep their antiques, uh, is, is, that is the investment of antiques. If they, if they abuse them and, and beat them up and tear them up, you know, they, they can't expect uh, them to hold their value as well as people that really take care of them and, and uh, protect them and oil them, keep them oiled and, and everything, so all the furniture. And so uh, condition is a very important thing. Stephen says the internet is a good research tool for anyone wanting information about an antique, painting, book, or other item. He also says even if an item doesn't command a high price, if it has been passed down from generation to generation, the sentimental value can be even greater. Telling your story in Aberdeen, Allie Martin, WCBI News.